Almost 50 years ago, Ford Motor Company introduced an iconic brand with an undeniable shape and style all its own. The Ford Mustang instantly captured the hearts and minds of young and young at heart car enthusiasts everywhere. Back then, a group of passionate Ford engineers also created a special Mustang, a car designed to be the best all around road going machine ever created by the Ford Motor Company. The hard work and Ford spirit paid off as Parnelli Jones won the 1970 Trans Am season opener at Laguna Seca. And on that day, a true automotive legend was born, the Ford Mustang Boss 302. And I'm proud to announce the Boss is back. That's right. The legendary small block Boss 302 of the late 1960s has been reinvented. And believe me, this is the quickest, best handling production Mustang ever offered by Ford Motor Company. After a 40 year hiatus, the road racing legend returns to the streets. And for those of us who enjoy the high revving power and heart pounding performance of the Boss, it's a welcome return. In every detail, this new boss is true to the legend without compromise. It's leaner, meaner, and more powerful and ready to take on everything on and off the track. Because this legendary Mustang was born on the track, a new team of dedicated Mustang engineers returned to Laguna Seca to showcase and test the metal of this new Boss 302. They were also joined by some of the best known professional drivers in motorsports history. Laguna Seca is a, a track that uh, I think every kid dreams of being on and uh, with a corkscrew and all the great turns and the straightaways. It's a heck of a track. It's, it's smooth, it's fast, it's got a ton of elevation change. We're here today to do something very special. We are bringing back the Boss. So one of the best features about this Boss 302 is what we call track key. So when you get your boss, you've got two different keys. This would be the normal key. The one marked in red is the track key. It's going to disable skip shift. It's going to enable launch control. It's also going to give you a lopey idle. It sounds like a thing's got a racing cam instantly installed in it. And it basically brings the boss 302R's calibration from the racetrack into your street machine. Industry first, never done before. This project is bringing it back and bringing it back better and faster than ever. We're rebuilding a legend. This Mustang is all business all the time. To stay true to the Boss legend, no detail was overlooked. The Boss 302 boasts a 440 horsepower V8 engine and every system was strengthened, lightened and refined. It's a race car with a license plate. What we are experiencing here is hands-on development taking place at the track that is going to benefit the production of a car. We said that we were either going to do the boss right or we weren't going to do it. Boss is the biggest and the baddest. It always has been. It's not a compromise. It is exactly what a Boss 302 was and should be, and it's going to perform just like a Boss 302 should. This is going to be a pure race machine made for the track right out of the showroom. It's all in. You can see the complete story of how this new boss was born in a full-length documentary on the Speed Channel. To celebrate the racing heritage of the new Mustang boss, Ford will also offer a limited number of Boss Laguna Seca models, a car that's barely street legal. This 2012 Mustang Boss 302 is all business, all the time. It's a race car with a license plate. 